Today, I will demonstrate how to properly administer an intramuscular injection. To start, I will review the doctor's order and compare it with the MAR. I'm going to make sure that I covered the 10 rights as per Potter and Perry, which are the right medication, the right dose, the right patient, the right route, the right time and frequency, right documentation, right reason, right to refuse, right patient education, and right evaluation. So at this point, I would perform hand hygiene and also wipe off and clean the table with Virox. It is at this point that I will be putting on my gloves. So today, because we are administering one milliliter of vitamin B12, I've chosen my one milliliter syringe. I also have my blunt fill needle, which will be used to draw up the medication. And I have chosen my 23 gauge and one inch needle to administer this medication. And the reason I've done this is because the medication is not too viscous, so the 23 gauge will be perfect. And the one inch is because is not very bulky. He's six foot two, he's 180 pounds, he does not have very much adipose tissue on the site of injection, so the one inch will do for that. So here I have the vitamin B12 complex, and by using an alcohol swab, I'll be wiping the top of the bottle, making sure that it is nice and sterile and disinfected. I'm also going to use sterile technique to connect the blunt fill needle to the syringe, like so, and safely recap the needle. So now I am drying up one milliliter of air into the syringe and I will take this air and inject it into the vitamin B12. Now ensuring that the needle is underneath the surface, I will be drawing up the one milliliter. Of vitamin B12 and while I'm doing so I'm also reviewing the doctor's order to ensure that I have the right medication and the right amount being drawn up so now I have the one milliliter of vitamin B12 complex drawn up and just flicking it to remove any air bubbles from the syringe with the proper technique, I'm going to recap this needle. And now I am changing the needle and putting in the needle that will be used to administer this injection. And now the medication is ready to be administered. It is notable that there are three possible sites for an IM injection. The sites are the vastus lateralis, ventral gluteal, and the deltoid. Today, I will be administering this injection into the deltoid. It's at this point that I will assist the patient to appropriate position. I would ask him to sit down and relax their arm and relax their shoulder. So as mentioned, I will be administering into the deltoid. However, before I do so, I need to ensure that I have the correct patient. To do that, I will take two identifiers from their ID band. In this case, it'll be the date of birth and their full name. So now, taking an alcohol swab, I'm going to clean the surface of the site where I will be administering the injection. Making sure that I get all the surface so the deltoid muscle can actually take about one to two milliliters of medication and that's why I've chosen the deltoid. However, if I were to administer a larger volume, then I would use either the ventrolateralis or the ventrogluteal muscles. So just removing the safety and uncapping the needle, I'm going to use the Z-Track method with my non-dominant hand. So just like so, sorry it's a little hard to demonstrate because this is so small, but Using the Z-Track method like so, and sort of pulling the skin at a 90 degree angle, I'm going to insert this needle like so. And I'll stabilize the base of the needle with my thumb and my index finger like so. And now I'll be injecting the medication slowly at a rate of 10 seconds per milliliter. So we don't actually aspirate for intramuscular injections, so I'll just remove the injection like so, 
and cover it with gauze and apply light pressure. I will now dispose of the needle into the sharps bin. Lastly, we will need to document this on the MAR, so we're going to make sure that we write the date, the amount, the site, time, and our initials. And that is how you properly administer an intramuscular injection.